The F-22 Raptor is considered the most capable air superiority fighter on the planet, but its short production run resulted in a shortened service life, increased operational costs, and ensured the United States cannot replace the aircraft as it ages out or is lost in combat. With a new successor in development, known as the Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter, the Air Force intends to award a contract for this jet this year. However, with the new fighter expected to begin operations towards the end of this decade, it will take years before the U.S. has enough sixth-generation jets to replace the aging Raptor fleet. With global tensions rising, the U.S. cannot afford to sacrifice its air power superiority while waiting for the new aircraft to come online. Though the F-22 may be scheduled for retirement, it's not intending to fade away quietly. Let's discuss the massive $13 billion upgrade for the F-22 that's currently underway. I'm Alex Hoolings and this is Air Power. As we've discussed previously on this channel, the F-22 Raptor may be a highly capable fighter, but due to its production being cancelled after only 186 jets were built out of an order for 750, the F-22 was always destined for an early retirement. While Lockheed Martin, the US Air Force, and even Japan have explored the possibility of restarting F-22 production since much of its supply chain and facilities are being used for F-35 production, doing so would cost nearly as much as introducing a newer sixth-generation fighter. As a result, the Raptor today is an endangered species. Around 150 combat-capable F-22s currently in operation are all the combat-capable F-22s the world will ever see. And to exacerbate the situation, the technological edge provided by the Raptor's stealth performance and capability is beginning to erode. China's rapidly expanding fleet of stealth fighters now surpasses the number of American Raptors, and while the F-22 still holds an advantage in stealth, new infrared search and track erst technologies, as used by several fifth-generation and even fourth-generation fighters, they are becoming more common. These systems enable fighters to detect and target even stealth aircraft that don't show up on their radar screens using only their own heat signatures. This technology was still nascent when the Raptor program chose to overlook it in production, but currently the F-22 is the only fifth-generation fighter on the planet without this vital capability. The Raptor may be the king of the skies today, but with a sizable enough adversary fleet still more than a decade away, the F-22 needs a 21st century technology infusion to extend its reign into the 2030s. And that's what's happening now. Currently, the ongoing sustained technology refresh of the F-35 and the upcoming Block 4 upgrades garner mainstream media attention, both for the promised extraordinary new capabilities and the seemingly endless delays associated with these efforts. But the US F-22 fleet is also submerged in extensive multi-billion dollar renovations to ensure that the aircraft remains at the top of the fighter pyramid while serving as a bridge between the most advanced fifth-generation fighter technology today and the forthcoming sixth-generation fighters. However, before we delve into things like new advanced air-to-air -air missiles, Let's start by addressing two of the most glaring weaknesses of the F-22 because despite its strengths integrated avionics and unmatched stealth capabilities, the F-22 has long lacked some common capabilities in fourth-generation fighters and even older ones. The first, as we've discussed before, is the lack of long-range infrared search and track. And the second is the absence of helmet-mounted queuing systems, which has long limited how F-22 pilots can leverage the weapons they carry on the aircraft. Clearly, there's no official confirmation that these systems are included in the ongoing upgrades, but there's growing evidence to suggest they very well could be. In early 2022, the Air Force released a business innovation research solicitation to industry partners for proposals to integrate both the useful Scorpion helmet display system and weapon targeting queuing systems and long-range infrared search and track into the F-22 Raptor. 
the value of infrared search and track capabilities cannot be underestimated as it would provide a significant boost to the Raptor's ability to engage stealth fighters and much more. The most advanced infrared search and track systems today can not only identify and target threats through their heat signatures but can even utilize spectral sensitivity to identify the type of threat based solely on its heat signature.